All right. Now that you're in position, Miss March, let's get this lesson started. I'm not good at acting all master-like. Since Grandpa asked me to teach you swordplay, I won't hold back any secrets. Oh, thank you so much, Masters! Oh, oh, wait. Does this mean our training is only officially starting right now? After all, we need to watch you practice for a few days before we can figure out how talented you are, right? So, how'd I do, Master? You're definitely talented, Miss March. Oh, hey, here you are. Did you hear that? These two masters just called me a swordplay genius. Oh, just wait until I go back. Everyone's going to be so wowed by my new skills. Swordplay requires rigorous training. Before we start, Miss March, you need to find a clear reason to keep you motivated while you train. It doesn't have to be something huge, but it needs to be clear. In other words, even though you didn't exactly choose to be our apprentice, you still need to take the initiative during this learning process. I once had the honor of learning swordplay from a master. She asked me why I started training at such a young age, why I wielded a sword. So, for our first lesson, I'd like to ask you the same question. Miss March, why do you wield your sword? Why do I wield my sword? I wield my sword to take down my enemies. I mean, what other reason is there? I also questioned that sword master about why she uses her sword, and she said, to vanquish my enemies, and nothing more. Miss March, you gave a similar response, which shows you've got potential. Take down your enemy is with a blaster gun! I heard a hero say something like that in an immersia. He also mentioned that sword training can push a person's physical abilities to their ultimate limit. Seems like you've seen your fair share of immersia, Miss March. But if you want my opinion, if your goal is self-improvement, you'll feel just as accomplished even if you put down the sword and go back to your bow. Oh, come on. Don't listen to his empty talk. Oh, now I'm curious to hear what Master Yun Li has to say. Let me ask you something, March. Do you have any specific goals for learning swordplay? Like achieving a certain ranking in the war dance, or maybe you want to defeat someone, like Yan Jing, or me. Who do I want to defeat? Her? Don Hung, Himeko, or Mr. Yang? If you can't think of anyone specific, why not set a simpler goal? Like, how many opponents do you want to defeat at once with a sword? I'll fight ten! <laughs> ten? Oops, uh, that just slipped out. It's actually another line from an immersia. Yeah, I really like them. So what? <laughs> I think I figured out what's motivated March to learn swordplay. Could it possibly be immersia about swordmasters? Hey, now that you mention it, that actually makes sense. I'm super interested in Sienjo immersia and novels. Even though I use a bow, almost all the great heroes in those immersia use swords. So I want to be a sword master too. See? You agree, right? I mean, who wouldn't want to be a sword master? Becoming a sword master who fights for justice and battles evil? <laughs> well, that's definitely a good reason to keep you motivated in swordplay training. Uh, now that you've both given your approval, I have another small request. I want to perform a tea ceremony to honor you as my masters. Remember, you'll need to tap the table a few times with your fingers. Uh, tea ceremony? Tap the table? Do we have to be so serious about accepting an apprentice for the first time? 
please? That's how those heroes in the Immersia show their respect. Play along? <laughs> Let's just stop wasting time. Just treat us to some milk tea. And then we can start our real swordplay training. Okay. Uh, yeah! All right, let's go. To the Sleepless Earl. Ugh. Hey, this is not how it's supposed to be, right? The Sienjo is known for its tea culture and hospitality, but you're not treating me like a guest at all. Seriously, am I not a guest? <sighs> Dear guest. Stop. Don't call me a guest. You're not even treating me as one. I want my tea just right. Not too hot, not too cold, but the tea you serve was either freezing or scalding. Is this how you treat your guest on the Sienjo? How fantastic! Your tea tastes like slop, and you even have the nerve to charge me for it. Are you trying to scam honest folks? And that name, the Sleepless Earl. It's so hard to remember. How about we give you a new plaque that says, Sienjo Slop? It suits this place better, don't you think? Stop! You've gone too far! Oh, who's that trying to be a hero? It's me, March 7th. Cause more trouble and I'll show you who your mommy is. Wait, that sounded lame. Uh, hey, uh, say something for me. Oh, that's right! I'm the sword champion! Never heard of you. Now scurry back to wherever you crawled out from. Mr. Scott, I'm Yen Ching, a Clout Knight Lieutenant. We've met before, and I suggest you stop causing trouble. Trouble? Ha! I'm just giving some feedback as a regular customer. The tea here is terrible, and now the Cloud Knights want to stop me from complaining about it? At this rate, who would want to ever come here for tea in the future? A regular customer? You? Yeah, what else would I be? The Sienjo's prisoner? Anyway, if you're trying to bully this young lady, you'd better watch out for the weapon in my hand. Huh? Oh, that really scares me. <laughs> Come on, you're not seriously trying to take my life with that piece of uh, scrap metal, are you? Scrap metal? This is my sword. I'm here to learn Sienjo's sword play. Sword play? Oh, I get it now. It's just another kind of play, right? That explains why you're dressed like you're in a show. You're not even from the Sienjo, so why bother learning their sword play? If you're feeling unsafe, I can sell you an IPC map. Ha! Huh, as if anyone wants your junkyard scrap mechs! Oh, how marvelous! How about you show me, then? Well, guess it's time to show these bumpkins something serious. Just a reminder, IPC members, street fighting on the Sienjo Lafu is prohibited. <laughs> Make any funny moves, and I'll smash that scrap metal. Hey, hey, relax. I know the rules. These are my subordinates. They got stuck here because of the transport ship incident, and they need to vent their frustration. In the end, it's all the Sienjo's fault. Well, I can overlook the terrible tea. But now that you're questioning my security, I can't let it slide. After all, I have a courier business to run. With so many clients watching, that just wouldn't look too good now, would it? Instead of uh, wasting your life learning useless swordplay, why not invest in our civilian mechs? Hmm? You'll have your master kneeling and begging for mercy in no time. Stop! Don't you dare insult Sienjo's swordplay like that! If you have the guts, I'll show your mechs what I can do. Huh? 
A fight, you say? <laughs> now that you've thrown down the gauntlet March 7th, I feel I'm obliged to accept your challenge. Say whatever you want, but once you've seen what our mechs can do, you'll be practically begging us for them! Oh, come on! How could I say no to a bet? So, I can see you're no master yet, March, but I'll play fair. You go back and learn swordplay from your teachers here, and in 15 days, I'll come find you and challenge you with my mechs! Only 15 days? All right, fine. And if you lose, you'll have to bark like a dog in public and shout, Sienjo swordplay is a total joke. You'll stand at the entrance of our room alley and say it to everyone passing by. Oh, and if that's the case, just forget about your master and become my apprentice instead. I'll teach you how to pilot a mech. And... If I win? I'll become your apprentice? Nah, I don't think so. I don't like you. Okay, how about this? If I lose, I'll squeal like a pig in public and say, IPC mechs are a total joke! And I'll even print that on every mech on the transport ship. Deal? The squealing isn't enough. You also need to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl and take back what you said about Sienjo's swordplay. Fine, fine, I get it. But you've got to actually beat me with that little scrap of metal first. You all heard it, right? We'll meet again in 15 days. <laughs> Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, yes. Thank you all for your timely help. The shop facing a bit of flat from visitors is a minor issue, but Miss March's decisions to challenge him is serious. Oh, I feel responsible as if the shop has inconvenienced you. Uh, don't worry. I can't stand by and watch someone be bullied. I have to stand up against injustice, no matter what. Not only do you speak like a hero from an immersia, but you also have a kind heart. Your charisma has completely won me over, Miss March. <laughs> I'm not quite a hero. Yet. Oh, I know you're here for the tea ceremony. Please come inside. Uh, thanks for the invitation, but right now, I just want to focus on practicing swordplay. Masters? Let's save the tea for later. Sure, the tea can wait for now. However, I have a question, Miss March. How confident are you about the bet you just made? C come on! How could I possibly lack confidence? You believe in me, right, Masters? What do you think, Master Yunqing? I think you already know the answer, Master Yunli. I don't see any issue with it. Let March give it a shot. As long as she trains diligently, I believe she can easily deal with that hunk of IPC scrap metal. As long as she trains diligently. I'm now filled with determination, Masters. I'll learn swordplay well and teach that guy a lesson. <laughs> You're my most trusted friend. You'll be my assistant teacher and make sure I learn swordplay properly. If I can't learn swordplay well, I'll have no one to blame but myself. Masters, Miss Teaching Assistant, let's go back and start the training now. That IPC guy will show up in 15 days. I've got to become a swordmaster by then. Becoming a swordmaster in a mere 15 days is quite challenging. But we can't lose our momentum, Master Yun Li. Momentum alone will only keep you going for about three days. If you really want to stick with it, 
You need a solid plan. No worries. I found my professional teaching assistant to help me organize the lessons, so there won't be any problems. Rest assured, Masters. If not in me, at least place your faith in her, my trusty sidekick. Miss March is really passionate about learning swordplay, and now she has a clear goal in mind. That's a good thing for her. There are many ways to defeat villains, but if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. I hope you will always remember this, Miss March. Got it. It's all etched into my memory. Uh, since you've got that in mind, it's time for me to set some targets for you. Please, go ahead, Master Yunli. We'll have three exams during these 15 days. If you pass our tests, those pieces of IPC scrap won't stand a chance. But, if you fail... <laughs> that would mean Yun Li is a terrible teacher. And if that's the case, I hope you won't force yourself to take on the challenge, Miss March. Hey! You are the terrible teacher here! I understand. In the Immersia, the Disciple and the Master share both honor and disgrace. If the Apprentice fails, the Master loses face, too. Well, there aren't that many customs on the Sienjo. I'm just worried about you getting hurt. But as long as you practice diligently and pass the tests, we'll feel confident about your duel. Now, let's go back to the first question I asked you. I'm sure you found a reason to wield your sword, right, Miss March? Absolutely! I wield my sword to become a hero! I want to fight for justice, punish the wicked, and make them quiver in fear and run away when they see me! Then keep that fire burning, and learn with all your heart. You haven't said much, Miss Teaching Assistant. Any suggestions before we officially start training? Ah, exactly! I prefer the cool, calm, and ruthless way of doing things. That's my kind of style. Ah, that's enough chit-chat for now. Don't forget to keep an eye on my swordplay practice. Thank you. 
How should I go about this? March a dull girl, you know. I'm not sure. I learned so much today. Today, you'll face your first test. It's all about the basics. Oh, I know. It's a float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, right? Uh, that's boxing, but close enough, I guess. Grasping the basics is crucial to mastering swordplay, Miss March. Focus on wielding your sword properly, making your thrusts swift and strikes brisk. And parries should be fluid and nimble. Got it! See? Even March is getting bored of your rambling. Miss March is still a novice, so I'm giving her some tips on the basics to help her better understand them. Neglecting the basics will only make you vulnerable in a fight. Even for an extraordinary sword master like you, Yun Li. Just focus on your teaching. Why bring me into this? What? Didn't General Hoi An offer you any guidance? <laughs> Looks like your general hasn't told you to stop hopping around like a sparrow in a fight. Huh? Miss March has been learning the basics of swordplay. And now, it's time to put her knowledge to the test. Unsheath your swords, and show me what you've got, March. According to the sketch, 
Rachel, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Dragon, white tiger, eating less calm. Watch this! have a martial arts background and plenty of real combat experience. But with swordplay guidance from me and Yun Li, if you were to challenge the IPC's security mechs now, I believe... You wouldn't stand a chance. Yun Li's... right. No chance? Hey, are you trying to crush my confidence? I'm the kind of girl who performs better when I'm showered with praise, just so you know. I'm not that confident, but thank you for believing in me. <laughs> I thought teaching March was just something of a hobby, but now, actually seeing her progress gives me a sense of accomplishment. Oh, really? So now you finally acknowledge her talent, Master Yun Li? Don't worry, Miss March. I've been serious about teaching you from the start. Uh, don't try to cause a rift between us. <laughs> Every move and technique I taught March is straight from the Juming art of swordplay. Fifteen days of training is short, Miss March. Whether you pass or fail this test, I hope you'll continue with the basics. Because that's your best shot at winning. After every test, the general would take me to the Artisanship Commission for sword maintenance. Let's go, Miss March. Today, I'll follow the general's example as a way of acknowledging your progress. Thank you, Master Yen Ching. So, have you found any information about her? Yeah. That girl is one of the nameless on the Astral Express. Oh, she's no pushover. Don't you think this bet's a bit too risky? Yeah, it is. So what? Have you seen those big shots in the Strategic Investment Department? Do they ever make safe bets? She thinks she can fool me by flying under the radar? You there! Get me the most powerful mech we've got! Uh, understood. Checking the inventory now. Now I'm curious to see what this 15-day crash course apprentice is really capable of.
Recommend. Great! <laughs> I learned so much today!
gotta find time to try it out. should I go about this? Second test. I'll be your examiner this time, and I'll be testing your ability to defeat enemies with unconventional moves. Grandpa always said that everything can be a sword, and that there are endless possibilities for learning swordplay in this vast world. If you want to defeat your opponent, you'll need your own secret move. <laughs> Speaking of secret moves, I prepared some flaming Tea. Huh? Is that the flaming potent tea from Arum Alley? You got it! I saw this immersion where the hero drank the flaming potent tea and started stumbling and shaking all over the place. But then he managed to defeat his father's murderer with his drunken sword play. Good example. Do you know how to do that drunken sword play? Uh, no. I figured I could just learn it by drinking flaming potent tea. That's not how it works in real life, Miss March. Even if I don't know drunken sword play, I've got other tricks up my sleeve. I've heard you've traveled a lot, Miss March. I'm excited to see how you incorporate your experiences into your sword play moves. Your opponent this time is similar to the IPC mechs. Unsheath your swords and give it everything you've got. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Another step closer to star crazing glass. Dragon, White Tiger, eating less calm. Watch this! were pretty unconventional, but the way you've blended them into your swordplay was impressive. It's like you've developed your own unique style, Miss March. So, I thought you were just wasting your time traveling around with Yun Lee's encouragement. But it seems like it's paid off. Well, well. Looks like someone's finally seeing sense. Uh, thank you both for your guidance. 
So, did I pass the test? <laughs> Without a doubt, you aced it. Awesome! Hey, Miss Teaching Assistant. Isn't it about time you showered me with praise? Uh, I won't be modest this time. My skills have improved by leaps and bounds. General Jing Yuan once told me that everyone has the potential to be my master. Not just Cloud Knight instructors, but also artists and outsiders. Actually, I was once convinced by Gui Naifin into swallowing a sword. That's definitely not something you learn from regular practice. So, what do you think your odds are, March? Uh, maybe around 30 or 40 percent? Hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Hey, even I can say things that sound profound and mysterious. You don't really think I'm dumb, do you? Hmm. From the test, I can tell that you still need some time to master your swordplay. But you did pretty well. Milk tea is on me today. Oh, yeah! The progress report on the Nameless Girl's sword training is complete. What should I do now, Specialist Scott? Huh? Are you being sarcastic or something? I mean, don't I have other important tasks to do? It feels like a bit of a waste of time to keep tabs on some random girl's swordplay training. A waste of time? No! This is about safeguarding the reputation of the IPC and the honor of the Amber Lord. Are you saying that March 7th can actually take down an Arumaton from the Artisanship Commission with a sword? Come on, an Arumaton is no match for our state-of-the-art mechs. Go and strengthen our mechs even further. I refuse to believe that little sliver of metal can actually challenge our cutting-edge technology. But the armor's already pretty thick. No, it's not enough. Reinforce it more. If I lose face, it's like losing face for the IPC and the Ember Lord. Can we afford to let that happen? Understood. How should I go about this? Okay. <sighs> That's enough training for today. Wonder what I'll run into today.
Did I really just learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all. And... Before we start the test, there's something I need to tell you, Miss March. I've received a challenge letter from Scott. He's made thorough preparations, contacting the Realm Keeping Commission and getting approval for a martial arts exchange event. He even chose Arumali as the venue. Seems like he has some connections there. However, according to the rules, the person receiving the challenge letter has the right to decline the challenge. Declining would be like admitting defeat. Of course I'll accept it. But before that, you need to pass the final test. The graduation exam. Uh, I'm surprised too. Well, it's not really graduation. It's just that the opponent for this exam is your master, Yenqing. 
When General Jing Yuan was teaching me swordplay, he used to personally spar with me during crucial moments to assess my skills. After all, the master should be the one who is most aware of their students' strengths and weaknesses. But... Master Yan Ching... Facing you in a duel... Do I really stand a chance? How will we ever find out if you don't even try? Are you only scared because I'm your opponent, Miss March? Unsheath your swords and get ready, Miss March. The duel starts now! The final test. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but did I really just... far, Miss March. You've passed the exam. Oh! I get your point, but this isn't the time for deflections. Uh, quickly, say something nice about me. Uh, actually, I didn't defeat Master Yen Ching. <laughs> With your sword blade skills, you can effortlessly take down IPC Max, March. Yeah, I'm pretty confident too. But looking back, haven't you learned something more important than just swordplay? Yeah, I've not only learned swordplay from masters, but I've also met a bunch of people and gained a lot of insights from my experiences. Those experiences will nourish your sword skills. It's just like Master Yun Li said, everything can be a sword, and there are endless possibilities for learning sword play in the vast world. That actually makes sense. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. Yeah, I'll show Scott the power of the Sienjo sword swordplay that he despises. I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. 